positrons from things like radioactive decays, like in the bananas or from cosmic rays, form one half of an antimatter universe. Antiprotons from machines like this and from cosmic rays and other natural sources form another half of an antimatter universe. Put them together and you've got a complete antimatter mirror universe, which just looks like ours, except everything is backwards, everything is mirrored together. And that's a little bit surprising, shocking maybe, because matter universes and antimatter universes aren't very compatible with each other, because when you put them together, when they touch, they annihilate or blow up. So how did we come to be here? Because if there was just as much matter as antimatter in the universe, it should have all combined together and left us with absolutely nothing. The tiny bursts of light you see here are antimatter electrons, or positrons. When they leak out of this small radioactive disk, they hit the oppositely charged electrons of the normal matter in the chamber and instantly annihilate, creating these flashes of energy. Positrons and electrons are the smallest particles imaginable, so the fact that you can see them explode with the naked eye gives you a hint of how much energy is being released. <laughs> 